I'm Betsy, your Zoom expert, and in this video, I'll show you seven tips to improve video quality and how with one change, you can increase it by at least 200%. Plus, hang around till the end to find out how to grab my free guide to get top quality video. To achieve video quality, look at your internet connection. Wired is better than wireless. You know, wireless connections are fast, but to rely on them, throughout your day, you might find a dip in that connection. Whereas wired using a cord, you're gonna find more consistent connection quality. You know, the faster the connection, the better your video quality. Let me tell you, once I was recording a Zoom and I was using someone else's internet connection, I was not in my typical recording location and the Zoom went amazing. I was recording, I wanted to repurpose the recordings. Well, when I got the recordings out of my Zoom cloud, I realized that because the internet connection I was using was wireless, it was not consistent throughout. And the recording quality was a little bit grainy and my voice wasn't quite matching the speed of the video. Figure out, well, what would I need to know to make my master classes and webinars run more smoothly? And so typically in that case, I couldn't use it at all. I did repurpose it in using just the audio, which sounded fine. However, it wasn't matching up to my video. And in some cases, parts of the video I could snip and use those as screenshots. However, the entire video was useless. Now, video quality also improves greatly depending on your lighting. You can situate yourself with the right lighting setup. This will make you look a lot better. No, you don't need studio quality. You just need a location where you have light on you consistently. That might be facing an outdoor window in your studio. Now that's gonna change throughout the day depending on where the sun shines on your location. However, if you can time it right and the natural light comes in the window, this is one of the best places to gain lighting. The other thing to do is to purchase a, a light that is transportable if you travel. And also the light height varies a lot. If you get a ring light and you wear glasses, you wanna make sure that the ring light is not eye level. You want to make sure that the ring light is at least as high as the top of your head. And in some cases, the lighting can be more of a soft glow. And then that will light up the entire room around you, making the video look crystal clear. Now, moving on, your video relies on the camera and the webcam that you're using could be the source of that poor video quality. Upgrading your camera to an external webcam is probably the easiest way to improve your video quality. However, that webcam that's built into your laptop is most likely perfectly okay, depending on the resolution. Now, resolution is described in terms of numbers. You might hear that a camera is 720p, and the P stands for pixels. You might hear that a camera is 1080p. That's 1080, and that's going to be a much higher quality camera. So the camera alone, if it is quality to begin with, your video quality is going to be that much better. There are also webcams that are considered 4K, and those are even better than the 1080p. Now, when we talk about pixels, we're talking about all the millions and millions of dots that make up a frame. And in that frame that maybe you're seeing me right now, the more pixels or dots there are, the more quality it will look. So you won't see what we call something that's pixelated, where there might be little grainy dots or fuzzy or blurry instances on the screen. Depending on the webcam that you're using, it really comes down to the Zoom settings in your account that make up how the quality of the video comes out. The account you're using right now in Zoom controls the maximum resolution that you can obtain. Again, resolution being those numbers, right? 720p or 1080p. Surprisingly, you might find that your quality inside Zoom is actually lower than 720p. 
but pro Zoom accounts, those are the accounts that you can get for about that $15 a month, you know, maybe $150 a year around that at the time of this recording, that's about what they were. Even pro accounts can get 720p with one easy step. And that is by submitting a support ticket to Zoom support. And in the description of this video, follow the steps there. It's a simple communication. You submit a support ticket to Zoom and request that your account needs 720p HD video. And within sometimes a couple of hours, maximum a day, Zoom will respond to you and you'll see that 720p is in your account. Now, this is what it looks like inside your Zoom account. Go up here across the top to the meeting tab, and then you'll see this little sub menu where it shows general and security and scheduling. These are all the different categories of settings. And I want you to click where it says in meeting advanced. You see that will scroll the screen all the way almost to the bottom. There are a lot of settings in here. And if you scroll down, go to the setting which talks about your meeting HD video quality. If you get to the virtual backgrounds, you've gone too far. So it's just above there. There it is, meeting HD video quality. Now, if you have a free account, you may not see this option. And if you have a pro account, it may look something like this, but not exactly. So why don't you pause this video right here and go take a look at your account and then come on back. Okay, so I'm assuming that you have opened up your own account and signed in and you've come to the same area to take a look at them. I also want to point out that those blue switches on the right hand side indicate that the setting is on. So if yours are a gray color, you want to make sure that you click there to turn them blue. And then you'll notice underneath meeting HD video quality that if it doesn't say 720p, then that's a reason for you to submit one of those support tickets to Zoom support. And if you have a free account, and you don't have this option at all, then that would be a reason to consider upgrading. Now I have the 1080p option and that's because I have upgraded my account to another level. And that's another way to achieve quality video is to upgrade your account from pro to let's say a business account that will do it. Or there is a Zoom sessions license that you can purchase, which is a pay per attendee. And that's really the most inexpensive way to upgrade your account, especially if you are a solopreneur and your audiences are, let's say, 50 people or less. If, however, you have a bigger audience, you can get a Zoom sessions license for larger audiences. In either way, these licenses, which are part of the Zoom events platform, will give you 1080p on your account. And so you can see here in this example, all you have to do is select it there and you will have video quality that is 200% greater than what you had before. Now, in addition to those web portal settings and your account type, your video quality is controlled by the settings inside the Zoom Workplace application. And to see those, here I am inside a Zoom meeting. So you can do this as well. Once you're in a Zoom meeting, you're gonna click down here on the arrow next to video. And then you're gonna to go to that bottom item there, which is video settings. So in this box that comes up with your video settings, you will see down below the preview of yourself, there is an option right there, which not only indicates what camera you're using, please double check there that the webcam that maybe you rely on giving you the best video quality is indicated there as the camera that Zoom will use. And then underneath there, you see that there is a, a checkbox for HD. If yours is not checked, please go ahead and check that now. Now, in addition to that, you may want to touch up your appearance or adjust your appearance, your video appearance for low light or even portrait lighting. And so for that, you're going to click on that background and effects on the left hand side. And then you're going to go to the video tab across the top. And you'll see there that below there are settings for things like mirroring your video that won't necessarily affect your video quality but it does mean that when you raise your right hand you will see it as a mirror in your video 
If, however, you are looking to improve the quality of your video, you might want to touch up your appearance. And what that will do is it will smooth out your, your skin appearance. And many of us who might not want to see those wrinkles around your eyes might want to increase the slider here. Now, careful, don't go too far because it will make you look a little bit like you have a glow on your face. But I would say somewhat in the middle is quite nice, especially once you've improved your lighting and you have a quality camera. It's really a nice improvement. And then underneath there, you see two more checkboxes for adjusting for low light. And I would leave that on manual. You can adjust it. You can see all the way at the bottom. If you were to go to auto, Zoom is going to make the decisions for you. So if you leave it on manual, then you can use the slider to change the lighting in the room if it is low lighting. And then finally, this last one, which is portrait lighting, which highlights you while it dims your background automatically built into the application. And so when you take that off, you can see the color of my background changed slightly. And if I select it again, just with a slightly darker background and some good lighting, you can see how this positions me on the camera in a very nice, soft glow. Now, finally, in the Zoom Workplace app, there are some advanced video settings, and I'd advise you to go take a look to see how these are set. Again, to get into your, your Zoom Workplace app settings, you can go here, which is when you're in a Zoom meeting, and just click that up arrow down there next to video, and then you see video settings. And when you go in here, at the very bottom, below where you see HD and the number of participants that you want displayed per screen in gallery view. Then at the very bottom, click there where it says advanced. So on this page for advanced video settings, you're going to want to look to see which options are checked off here. Now, the first two have to do with optimizing the quality of your video with something that's called denoise or with super resolution. And that uses the software to do that. So we're relying on Zoom as our software application to optimize the quality of the video for us. Now, the last two options talk about using hardware acceleration for receiving video or sending video. In Zoom, hardware acceleration should generally be enabled unless it causes issues like poor image quality or screen sharing problems or instability. You see, it's designed to take away tasks from the computer's processor. In a sense, it would improve performance, but it's not always beneficial, especially if your system doesn't have the necessary hardware or if it conflicts with other settings. So you do want to remember that these are tucked away back here. And if you have an older computer and you notice some of the quality is actually poor, you may want to go in there and see if those are checked and actually uncheck them. Okay, so if your video has been blurry, grainy, or pixelated, and you're wondering why it's choppy and poor quality, well, now you know why and what steps you need to take to change it. Remember, if you're tired of looking blurry and sounding muffled on Zoom, don't miss my free guide that covers everything you need to get broadcast quality style video and crystal clear audio. It's the guide that I use with every single one of my one-to-one -one private clients. Just head to the description in this video and you'll find the link waiting for you. The only way to improve quality video is to adjust your camera and your lighting settings, boost your internet connection, and enable HD video to 720 or 1080p in your Zoom account. If you have any questions or comments, please don't be shy. Drop them in the comments and let's talk. So that is my Zoom tutorial on video quality. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.